Okay, so first thing we're going to need to do is um, boot up the computer and copy the old hard drive. And I've done this in my, on my other computer. Um, this time I, I think the process should be a little bit simpler than the last computer I did. I don't think I made that too clear the way I said it, but uh, I, I, if you've watched my other video, I did it on my Dell desktop computer and I ran into some issues. Um, and actually, as I'm recording this video, I still have not made that video to go online. So, um, that was another day. From today, though, I promise I'm just a little behind on editing and uploading at this point. So, anyway, let's get into this. Um, you will need, or, well, I think you'd have to have this. I don't know of any other way to do it. Is an external case, external um, hard drive, USB to USB, and this is the hard drive. I think I've I've already showed you that, but this is the hard drive that we ultimately want this computer to go on to. I don't go over it too much on here, but um, it, the program I use to copy the hard drive is the Mini Tool Partition wizard okay. this computer has already been upgraded to Windows 10 it did not come with it um, but just so you know if, if you own Windows 7 you can upgrade to Windows 10 and you do not have to pay anything um, if you miss the opportunity that several years ago where it popped up and said upgrade to Windows 10 for free you didn't really miss the opportunity because I just did this um, like a month or less ago and all I had to do is download um, go to Windows download the ISO or there's a media creation tool that Windows makes for it you can use that as well and um, just make the startup disk and do the whole process and Anyway, I was able to upgrade it, no problems. Alright, so on the uh, mini tool partition wizard, we want to do the copy disk wizard. Okay. We're going to take this, the entire drive, not just one partition, but the entire drive, and we're going to copy that. Okay. And we're going to copy the disk too. Okay. Now, uh, fit partitions to an entire disk. Um, they have an option here to use GUID partition table. G U I D. Um, I don't. I'm not planning on trying that because I'm not sure that it will work um, because the this is an old computer with a old legacy BIOS and I'm not sure that that will jive with that partition that partition table so we're going to keep it with a master boot record style partition table and honestly for what I'm using it for I don't think that I need to worry about any of that anyhow. Alright, so go through that, hit, hit finished, um, go to hit apply, okay. Apply pending changes, yes. And it, it cannot be completed within Windows. That's normal. Uh, if you've watched my other video, same thing. Except for this time, I don't think I'm going to run into a hiccup. I'm pretty sure it's going to work the first time. Restart now.
Okay, like I said, I did not prep for this video. So what you're seeing here is really me trying to figure out where to go with this. But I think this panel here is going to just come off and the hard drive is hopefully going to be underneath it. If it is not, then I'm going to, to kind of regret this a little bit, but You need a pretty slim screwdriver, like right there. Voila, and that's it. All right, so the hard drive is right here. Over here, you've got your memory modules, and that's the wireless card, um, which I've upgraded this memory before, and I've honestly just, I guess, forgot that this is where the hard drive was. <laughs> That's been years, years ago when I did that. So, let's see if anything's holding this in. It doesn't really look like there's any screws. Kind of just pops out, but there are going to be screws here. I can already tell. Let's see if I can get. You will need to take this little case off, okay, so that you can put your replacement hard drive in its place. And be careful not to lose screws because it's probably best you put all your screws back in. Even though I've done stuff like that before where I have not. drive just pops out of this little case here and we're done with that now we're going to take our 
hard drive that was in the external case, take it back out. I won't be using the external drive, the external case anymore at this point. Not, not for this. Um, I'm actually going to use that external case to make the external drive for, um, I think for my audio drive. Okay, so we, looks like it's gonna not be quite as perfect of a fit. It's probably not quite the same as what came out of it but it, it, it's gonna work back in there got the case back together um, it, it'll just slip right in here where the old one was and yeah yep should just slip right back in here and it's gonna go into this little connector here and you probably want to just give it a little firm push to make sure it's in there good if it doesn't make connection to it you're not going to have a computer that's going to boot and then we just need to put this back on Snap that in, put these two screws that I took out. And I think these screws may also be helping hold that hard drive into place since there was no screws in there once you know once I got in there so this this should be it if all goes well this should be it I did this on my Dell yesterday and I had no problem with it um, booting up properly I did have one program that said there was some kind of mismatch and I had to deactivate the program and uh, reactivate it and then it's been fine ever since. Same thing, I don't quite understand computers sometimes. <laughs> 